Hey what's up beautiful people of YouTube, welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to blur out items or objects in your video clips using DaVinci Resolve 17. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can achieve this. The first one is for items or objects that are stationary in your video clips. I'll show you a very easy way to blur those out. And the second way that I'm going to show you is to blur out items or objects that are constantly moving around in your video like this. So what I'll do is I'll show you a way how you can track those items and blur them out at the same time. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hi everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use two different ways to blur out objects or items from your videos. The first one we're going to look at is for cases where you've got a stationary object or item or a person that's sitting in one place throughout the video clip and is not moving. I'll show you how to blur that out and the second one I'll show you how to blur out an object that is actually moving. So we're going to use these two clips as an example and the first clip we're going to look at is of this lady scientist here with this test tube and if I play this clip you'll notice that there's vapor coming out of this test tube but this lady is not moving so it is very stationary so the first method we can use is located in our fusion tab so select your clip that you want to work with and then go over to the fusion tab now that we're in the fusion tab you'll notice that you have two nodes here one is media in and one is media out so the media out represents this picture here which is our final result that we're going to get once we apply our settings and the media in represents this picture over here which you can't see because we haven't got it selected here so if you find these two dots underneath the media in node left view and right view we want the left view to show our in and the right view which is already selected to show the out so this is almost like a before and after view and now what we can do is apply our effects to this timeline here by using these effects over here so we're going to locate our blur effect which is this drop here if you click on it it automatically applies it to your line for you sometimes you will find that if you click on it it puts the node somewhere here and not actually on the line in that case you might need to manually join it so double clicking the line gets rid of it to manually join it you just click here and drag it and then click here and drag it and connect the effect to the two nodes. So if that happens, you can just connect it manually. Okay, now we've got our blur mode selected and this is where we apply the blur settings. But before we do that, we want to select the area that we want to apply the blur to. In this example, we're going to blur out this lady's face. So I'm going to select here because her face is roundish. I'm going to select the ellipse option. Right now that we've done that, you can see that it joins it for you automatically to the blur option. So now what we want to do is line up this ellipse to this lady's face. So let's put it like that. And then we can always on the sides here, grab it and make it a little bit more to the shape of her face. And we can bring this up a little bit. We can move this around to wherever we want the blur to be. You can also use the options here on the right hand side to adjust the width, adjust the height, adjust the angle. So we can even angle it a little bit more this way. And there we go. That's pretty good for this example so now that we've done that we want to go back and select our blur effect over here and then on the right hand side you'll see an option called blur size you can just increase that option a little bit and as you can see her face is becoming blurred out and there are some hard lines here on the side so it doesn't look very good so I'll show you how to get rid of those now so if we go back to our ellipse what we can do over here, you've got a setting that's called soft edge. So if I just scroll a little bit, you'll notice it softens the blur up. You can make the border width a little bit higher if you want. That will increase the blur all around here. So now we can still continue moving this around until we're happy. So say we like that. Let's expand it a little bit this way. And there we go. And now we're done with the blur of a person or an item that's not moving. So this person is not moving in the video. This would be a good blur to use. So if I go back to my edit page now, and if I play this clip from the beginning, it's blurred out. So for stationary objects or items, it's as easy as that. Now I'm going to show you the second method for an object that's moving. So it's also pretty easy. It might even be easier than the first way. Let me show you this clip here of this car and the car's moving. And what we're going to try to do is blur out this license plate over here. Say we don't want anyone to know what the license plate is. 
but we can't apply the blur we used previously because the car is constantly moving. So in that case, the blur would just remain in one place. So to do a moving blur, what we're going to do is select our clip again. And now we're going to head over to the color page. So if we go to the color page of DaVinci Resolve, you've got the color page and your tools over here. So the first thing we want to do with this method is click on this shape here. And what this will do is give you a bunch of options that you can select different shapes on how you want to select the blur area. Now our license plate is rectangular, so we're going to choose the square one. And now what we have to do is position the square exactly where our license plate is. So we need to adjust it to the size of this license plate. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the sides and move this somewhere there. Doesn't have to be exactly precise, depending on how you want it, how your shape looks. Drag this down a bit, drag this one up. Yeah, I'd say that's more or less good. So now we want to blur this area out. So we've done our outline, we've selected our shape. Next thing you want to do is go over to this tracker option. So it's next to the, the shape option is a tracker option. If you click on the tracker option, what we're going to do now is press play and it should track our license plate as the video moves. So let's press play and see if it's working. And that seems to be perfect so it did track the license plate all the way until it's out of the screen so now what we can do is just move our clip using this little slider to the beginning and the last thing we need to do over here next to the tracker option is a blur option if we click on the blur option here we're going to increase the radius of the blur so watch the license plate as i move these options up so i'm just going to move these all the way up and as you can see it blurred it out for us now i don't need to blur it even further because we can't see what's going on already and now let's press play and see if the blur moves with our license plate Yep, it seems to be working perfectly. So now we've got a tracked blur on our video clip here and a stationary blur on this lady's face over here. So I can press stop and go back to the edit tab. You'll see that the changes have taken place and that they both are applied. And it's as easy as that to blur something out using DaVinci Resolve 17. So I hope this helps you out and that you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting and that it has taught you something. If you did, do give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. I'm planning on having many more cool videos in the future that can possibly help you out. So thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about the blurring. It will blur the video, you will see nothing, and I will teach you how to do the blur. So stay tuned and enjoy the video, okay? And when you finish the video, you please you subscribe. If you know subscribe, I will know about it. So please do subscribe for your own benefit. Okay, spasiba.